I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you an excellent question on finding limits at infinity. You need to evaluate limit when x approaches infinity for 8 to the power of 2x plus 1 divided by 3x plus 2. You can pause the video, answer the question and then check with my solution. Now what I will do here is I'll also give you some choices. So I'll make it a multiple choice question. Okay, I hope that's a good idea. So let me say that the options for the answers are A, B, C, D. Let's say these are four options. It could be one, it could be two, it could be four, or it may be zero. And let me say E does not exist. Right, so one of these options is definitely correct. So you can work it out and let me know. Here is my solution. We need to work on limit x approaches infinity for 8 to the power of 2x plus 1 divided by 3x plus 2. So we could actually write this as 8 and we can take the limit of the exponents. We could limit x approaches infinity for 2x plus 1 divided by 3x plus 2, right? Now, when these ratios, when these degrees are same, then the limit approaches the leading coefficient ratios, right? But let me go through a few steps where this becomes absolutely clear. So we could write this as limit x approaches infinity. So if I take x common from the numerator, I get 2 plus 1 over x and in the denominator we if I take x common I get 3 plus 2 over x right so these are all exponents of 8 now as you can see we have 8 to the power of limit x approaches infinity as x approaches a large number 1 over x and 2 over x approaches 0 so what I'm trying to say here is that we can cancel these x's, right? We can cancel these x's. Now, we say that limit of 2 is constant, correct? Limit of 2 is constant. So you could actually, uh, you know, it becomes too cumbersome to write here. So I'm just sh showing you that limit when x approaches infinity for 1 over x is equals to 0. Limit when x approaches infinity for 2 over x is also 0, right? So these two approach is 0. So what are we left with? So what we have here, once we cancel this, we get 2 plus, you could write, well, let me write 1 over x for the time being, and then I'll cancel, okay? 2 over x, and that is equals to 8 to the power of 2 over 3, right? 2 over 3. So that's what you get. Now that is, you do cube root of 8 and square it, right? So, or you could do cube root of, this is cube root of 8 square, right? Cube root of 8 square, which is cube root of 64, which is 4, correct? So the answer is 4. Option C is correct in this particular case. I hope you have understood the concept. We have just worked on how to find limit for rational functions as x approaches infinity as as an exponent of 8, right? So this kind of combination of what you have learned. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope that helps. You can always share and subscribe my videos. Thank you and all the best.